If you think for one minute that those political elites actually got that vaccination, you are smoking meth in your mama's basement. Pastor Greg Locke has grown his audience over the last year by calling COVID-19 a fake pandemic and the vaccine a scam. I ain't getting no sheep shot in my arm. I don't care what Biden and the rest of that fake fraudulent administration says. I lost my relationship with my uncle over the church. Over Greg Locke's church? How? Part of it was because I was so vocal with my immediate family about what I felt about Global Vision and just the spirit that I detected from Greg that I didn't feel was anything godly. Chip Davis and his brother Billy are singer-songwriters outside Nashville. Several members of their family have attended Locke's church, including their uncle Coburn, who died of COVID-19 in April 2021. He got sick with COVID and um, he decided he would wait a couple of days before he went for help. And those couple of days were probably critical to whether he was going to survive COVID or not. Did you go to your uncle's funeral? I did not go to my uncle's funeral. Why not? That would have involved putting myself in the presence of Greg Locke and a bunch of people that I don't think are thinking properly right now. I ain't getting it, I ain't promoting it, and I discourage everybody under this tent to get it because I'm telling you, if you think that you're going to get healthy over a vaccine that's supposed to do away with a virus that has a 99.9% .9 survival rate, you've been watching too much Fox News and CNN at the same time. And so, no, look, I have not changed my stance. I haven't softened my stance. I have strengthened strictly my stance against the vaccine. I, I gotta take a break. It is not FDA approved. <clears throat> and take a Xanax. I'm serious. My pulse is out the roof right now. Can you just explain why? <clears throat> the only way he could have been proven wrong was maybe if my uncle had taken the vaccination. If you don't want to take a vaccination, that's entirely up to you. But to spread misinformation about it is dead wrong. And it could potentially lead to uh, more loss of life. We interviewed Locke in December 2020, when more than 4,900 Tennesseans had already died of COVID-19. He told us this. There's no pandemic. <laughs> COVID-19 is a not pandemic, a pandemic. But what is a pandemic then? Not what we're experiencing. I'm 44 years old. We've not had one in my lifetime, so I don't know. And this is not it. He often talks about that interview with significant embellishment. CNN showed up when this whole thing went down. And they said, we'd like to know why you are so arrogant. Why would you be willing to kill every elderly person within 250 miles of Nashville? We ain't killed nobody yet, by the way. We went back to Locke's church on Sunday and were set to interview him the next day. But he canceled on us after we arrived, and his publicist said he didn't feel comfortable doing it. Locke did not respond to our questions via email, but later that day, he posted a video to Facebook. And I'm telling you, we almost had to call the police on CNN on three chicks from CNN. We tried to be super nice, benevolent, compassionate, the whole deal. They're trying to say we're killing people. They're trying to say that we've had a COVID outbreak. If you're gonna run me out of church with a whip, you better be a full grown man, ladies and gentlemen, a full grown man is what I'm telling you. But these chicks, diabolical. Jezebel spirit, I'll call it like it is. There can be no justice for my uncle. He's gone. If Greg would find a modicum of humility and just say I was wrong, Masks have saved lives. It's been proven time and time again. And not be belligerent. In December, Locke also told us this. People can call us conspiracy theorists or what they want to, but, you know, there are aborted fetal tissue within the context of all of these vaccines. Several people at his church told us the same thing. And though fetal cell lines were used to develop the vaccines, they do not contain any fetal tissue. Then, in February, Chip's uncle Coburn said in a family group chat that he wouldn't get the vaccine because it had fetal tissue in it. He died two months later. This is the family room chat, and so he says, there's stuff in this vaccine, such as aborted fetuses. As for me, I'll do as I have for many, many years. I'll put my trust in my almighty God. Each of you do what you feel. Love my family. How did you feel hearing your family members parrot the things that Greg Locke had said about COVID that weren't true? It and then, made me angry. And then see them get sick from it. It made me very angry. Even after what happened to Coburn, some members of this family still don't want to get the vaccine. What do you think about coronavirus? 
What do I think about it? Mm-hmm. It's dangerous, but I get the feeling sometimes it's population control. Yeah. Just like abortion. Chip and Billy told us they felt like in the last five years that politics had made more attention in your family. <laughs> Do you think that's true? They think me and their mother are stupid, okay? I don't think that's true. <laughs> But why do you say that? <laughs> well, because of their views, and they can't believe we believe the way we believe. I'm just waiting on the bunny ropes to move. I'm actually shocked that we were able to even get together tonight. This is what Greg Locke and that type of cultish religion has robbed me of, I feel like time with my uncle because this is very rare. I'm just waiting on the money Ellie Reeve, CNN, Mount Juliet, Tennessee.